What's up, Crib Nation? This is your boy, Ed Tarker, with Mosley. Welcome back to Crib Reacts, and today we are taking a new adventure. We are going to CJ the Champ's channel, and we're going to check out a video entitled Roly Radiates Black Air Force Energy. Oh boy. <laughs> Anybody that knows anything about Dragon Ball Z, you know this is going to be crazy. But let's get right into it. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Let the video begin. Let's go. But then look at this right here. It's a four-on-one. Now you see any other day, you see a four-on-one. Somebody about to get their ass jumped. But now nah, Broly hit him with that Uno reverse card, bro. He said y'all about to get jumped by me and me alone. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody told me that CJ the champ is like a new generation Berlizzi. Hi, ladies <coughs> and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And a new challenger is approaching to be judged and to join this council of sacred gods. Now this man needs no introduction. And my God, if he makes it, we're going to need a bigger table because his big ass is going to take up at least three seats by himself. <laughs> yes, it is finally time to welcome the legendary Giga Nigga 9000 himself. <laughs> now, now we all know Broly's a menace. I mean, even though his original backstory is stupid as fuck. Well, to tell y'all, the original Broly movie, uh, he, he had the stupidest backstory I've ever heard in my life. Thank God they fixed that in a super movie, yo. But no, right. we're not here to hear any of that backstory, no bullshit. We are here to see this big ass, tall ass, 7 Eleven ass motherfucker <laughs> wholesome niggas. So y'all already know what the evidence on deck. And it is time to see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of Black Air Force activity. So without this is further ado, Broly, are you kidding me? Exhibit A. Oh boy. This man beat the hell out of four Super Saiyans and a Namek at the same damn time. I'll tell y'all this. This might be one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. Like, this man literally ran everybody's fade. Like, they couldn't even jump him, bruh. Look how he just dodges all this shit with no effort, <laughs> giving zero fucks in the process. <laughs> hey, but yo, I ain't gonna lie, though. At the beginning of the movie, I didn't think he was gonna be all that. I mean, when you first see the dude in his base form, I mean, come on, y'all. Just look at his ass, bruh. With this long pencil-ass <laughs> neck. Motherfucker look like an embryo straight out of central alabama hey, yo, wow as a kite bro like this nigga look like he in his own world at the moment so when i was a kid i was like all right this is gonna be some easy work for my boy goku nobody could be goku right now he beat the <laughs> bricks off of him, dude oh uh, it's okay it's okay he just getting warmed up <laughs> was running everybody's fade with no effort, bro. But you want to know what Broly's greatest speed is in my eyes? This man made Vegeta, a member of the round table of Black Air Force activity, a bitch. <laughs> but yo, my nigga didn't even want to fight him, bro. He made Vegeta. Out of all the people, bro, Vegeta, shit brick. Yep. Bro, oh my God. Had this nigga on his knees and everything, bro. Gosh, if you don't get your sorry ass up, nigga, <laughs> with your ba 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 ba, I'm loving it. Ass hairline, I'm gonna revoke your ass from this goddamn council. Damn, you lucky this movie ain't canon, nigga. Shit, I was gonna have to put up a poll to revoke your black hair for you, <laughs> license, bro. This is goddamn unacceptable. But you know what? I'll let it slide oh my just God. This once. But if I catch you doing some bitch shit like this ever again, your ass is getting revoked, nigga. <clears throat> but anyways, wow. I feel bad green people, bro. This man Broly just murked they planet for no reason. I mean, this is how this basically went down, bro. Roll the clip. <laughs> oh, look at the little green niggas trying to do some rebellious ass shit. I got a question for y'all. Is that your planet right there? Yeah, why? Yep. The fuck your That's exactly what he did. That's messed up, oh, though. Shit, what the nigga doing? Bro, bye bye planet. Oh, he did that with ease, oh, too. Shit, my hand slipped. Just kidding. <laughs> Just fucking laugh. Like this vicious ass WWE style clothes. Ooh. Like this dude literally picked Trunks ass up off the ground with his arm. Yeah. And slammed his ass in the wall, bro. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though. This man Broly might have had some of the most terrifying quotes in anime history, dog. I mean, just listen to what this man says real quick. Kakarot, 
Lord, how much do you love your son? Yeah. This man is out here threatening kids, bro. Kakarot, how much do you love your son? Hell no, <laughs> bro. That's how you know you're dealing with some of them psychopath ass niggas, dog. Look at him just eat this neat <laughs> jaw, bro. Dude just ate that shit for breakfast, <laughs> bro. Then, oh, poor Gohan. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. He came out the woodworks, grabbed his face, and started dragging it on the wall. Like, bro. Yo, the, the sound effects are 11. killing me. Yo, this man Broly said these hands are ready E for everyone, my nigga. <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere, then just double close lines on, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> and then he does it again, bro. Yep. You know who Broly reminds me of? That one character in a fighting game that just has that one broken ass move that you could just spam over and over. Oh and my over. god. Like, bro, yes. We all know we all have that one friend. That one friend that always plays the OP ass character and just spams that shit. Like, they could be absolute dog water at the game. Like, literal doo doo cheeks. But once they catch your ass slipping once, it's, it's over, bro. You're, 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 you're done. Like, this is literally Broly, bro. He is the embodiment of side B spam. So like, relatable. Just one move, bro. Stick out your damn arms and just move forward. <laughs> Battering Goku, bro. But you know what? I give Goku props, bro. At least he was still fighting him. Not like your bitch ass. Oh my gosh, Vegeta, get off your ass. <laughs> you see, it's such a bitch like this. But then look at this right here. It's a four on one. Now, you see, any other day, you see a four on one, somebody about to get their ass jumped. But nah, Broly hit him with that Uno reverse card, bro. He said, Y'all niggas about to get jumped by me and me alone, bitch. Well, Broly was look nasty, dude. Look, look at this. Wow. The disrespect. His arms are crossed, and he is smiling while they're uh -huh. doing this shit. And look at this man, Piccolo, bro. He came in trying to attack Broly. Yeah, he messed nah, up. He ended up hurting himself <laughs> trying to attack him, bro. And, and yo, look at this. This man is moving <laughs> like a damn freight train. Imagine you are in a dark alley, and then you see this shit coming. <laughs> look how he just kicks Piccolo out the way, bro. Hell no. Nah. Kick the shit out uh. of him. It was like this man Piccolo was just roadkill on the road. Dude. Broly just ran his ass. Damn. Over. And here go Vegeta again, looking like a bitch. This man really had to be his sorry. <laughs> Why does man keep playing the Uncle Ruckus theme, man? The this is funny. Oh my gosh, Vegeta, you pressing my motherfucking buttons, my nigga. And you don't see me. <laughs> bitch, you supposed to be the hardest nigga in the Z Fighters, bro. And you out here getting caught lacking. Like this man Piccolo had to give him a whole ass pep talk. And then this yeah. man Broly did the most savage thing I've ever seen in my life. I remember this. He walked through a Kamehameha. Oh my God. Not even a scratch in this nigga is laughing. <laughs> Look at this man Goku's face, bro. This right? just says it all. What the whole story. The fuck is we? <laughs> so Vegeta finally grew up here and decided to attack. Thank God. But we we all know what was gonna happen. Quick. <laughs> yep. Done. <laughs> At least he tried. That's all I'm gonna say. And then this man uh, killed his pops. Yeah. He crushed him in that small ass escape pod. Then threw his ass to goddamn Narnia. Like he chucked that bitch. Yeah, he like, did. What is that Olympic sport where like they twirl around and, like they chuck the fuck discus. Out of that ball? Discus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discus. <laughs> he played discus with his pops as the goddamn ball. Nigga set a galactic record. And then he started jumping on this man. Oh, oh damn yeah, I remember that. Man. Oh my lord, have mercy. Bro, do I even have to go on to Exhibit B? I, I mean, I mean, why not? So yeah, that was Exhibit That's A. That's you. So, uh, I guess we'll do Exhibit B. I mean, he don't need it, but we'll do Exhibit B. So, <clears throat> Exhibit B. This is Broly we're talking about. He didn't this man do. came back from the brink of death to beat the shit out of Goku's kids and his daughter-in-law in a younger version of Trunks again. Oh my God. This shit gotta stop, bro. <laughs> Broly, Broly, Broly. I don't know what this man Goku did to piss you off so much. I mean, was his crying that damn loud? Like, my nigga, you should have just called a noise complaint or some shit. Like, he pissed him off to the point that the only words that this man can say at this point is Kakarot. Kakarot! I feel yep. so bad for Goten, bro. This is why you should never get the same haircut as your father. And then, oh, poor Trunks as well. Like, this man already oh. beat up his future self, so he said, you know what? I'm gonna beat up your present self now. But Dell also got slaughtered, but I mean, I mean, at least yeah. it wasn't as bad as a spoken bitch oh, my oh my god. god. <laughs> that is one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. True. Hands down. That. Then Gohan had to get his ass whooped again. He probably had PTSD after last time when he got his face <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my god.
side. Like, look at this. He is like bending his spine right now. Uh, Gohan got his ass kicked. Nastiest kick. bear hug of all time. Yeah. <laughs> With power too. And I love how the only way they could beat this man was the power of plot. The power of plot. Yep. It's always the power of plot. Still dope though. Yeah, uh, we're gonna need a bigger table. Cause this man has clearly earned his I see him in a quarter over there. Black Air Force activity. Like this is savagery on another level. But I am not talking about Bio Broly. That 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 movie was some ass cheeks. I'm sorry. Oh, it was Even bad. Super Broly is a way 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 better written character than Z Broly. Z Broly just had that just savageness. That just ruthless Bam. ass aggression. <laughs> like every time you saw this man that run screen, again, you knew somebody was about to get their ass body. Oh yeah. Yeah. Broly, Broly is a menace. He made this table with ease. <laughs> he only needed two exhibits. So, I mean, Dude. yeah, that's basically it. I mean, if you see anybody running down the street or running down an alley looking like this, just do yourself a favor and just cover up your booty cheeks. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, skedaddle. <laughs> no, this guy is off the chain. I, You know what? Honestly, this had me laughing, but at the same time, it made me think. Because if anybody watched the, uh, the Dragon Ball Z Broly movies, you knew Broly was that... Dude, and nobody was gonna even come close to trying to even stop him from demolishing everybody. Like the second that fight started, I'm just like, yo, Broly is literally kicking the shit out of everybody. <laughs> and the fact that what made me laugh about this whole video was the fact that CJ spits truth, like spits facts, hands down. And the part that had me laughing was, he goes, imagine you are in a dark alley and then you see this shit coming at your ass. <laughs> if I saw Broly running at me like that, full speed in an alley, bro, I'm just going to be like, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out swinging. Fuck that. I'm, I'm going to go out fighting. I don't care. But honestly, yo, CJ the champ is definitely going on my list of people i'm gonna be reacting to because that was funny as shit the fact that he was able to bring facts into the situation and even break things down piece by piece about a character that could clearly whoop anybody's ass makes it that much better so cj i'm gonna give a good shout out to you man you did an amazing job on this i cannot wait to see what you have in store next but i'm gonna go check that channel out and y'all should too so did you like this video as much as I did? I truly enjoyed this. I had a blast with this. Hit the comment section below. Tell me what you guys thought. We'll definitely discuss it. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are going to get there. So if you like everything I bring to the table, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give the video a thumbs up. Click that notification bell so you guys know when every episode is up and running. Be sure to grab yourself some of the Kirby X merch. The link to the shop is in the description below. Be sure to share the video with everybody outside of YouTube so they know exactly what they're missing out on. And always expect the unexpected. Tomorrow is my birthday, guys. And I'm very excited to make another trip around the sun. A new chapter is about to begin. But we still going to keep things going right here on Crib Reaction. You know how we get down. So birthday, no birthday, anniversary, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you're celebrating. We still go keep the ball rolling here. But this is my time. My birthday's coming up, guys, and I'm very excited. So thank you so much for all the love and support you guys have been showing me throughout uh, every episode. I could not be here without all of your support. And you guys have given me the best gift of all. Just continuing to do what I do best. So thank you. I truly appreciate it. Till next time, guys, I'm your humble host, Ed Sarkarita Mosley, naturally. Thank you so much for tuning in to this amazing episode of Crim Reacts. Holla at your boy. I'm out. Peace.